Well, 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 today I have received a huge package from Huanon.pl website. Inside the package I supposed to have three interesting X99 motherboards for review. So let's cut through this plastic and take out each motherboard one by one and see what I have got there. A nice looking Huanan J branded box, but I'm not yet done with the unboxing. Finally, I'm here. Lots of bubble wrap. And here are the motherboards I have got for testing. The first one is X99CH8. This is a mining motherboard. This one, I believe, is X79 something, I don't remember. This one is X99TF 2021 revision. And the last one is X99F8, also 2021 revision. Let's take them out of the box and take a look at each of them. Starting with Huanan G X99 F8 2021 revision. The box looks pretty much the same as before, maybe a slightly better quality box, it just feels a bit better than before. Opening it up and here we see some changes. The cardboard inside is white, not black, but it doesn't really matter. Then we have this bubble wrap. And the motherboard itself. Inside the box we also get a SATA cable, some screws, useless Huanan G warranty card, and a battery. This battery is actually coming from Huanan.pl website themselves. The battery is not included from China. Let's take the motherboard out of the anti-static bag and see if we have got any changes compared to the original X99 F8. So looking at the motherboard, I don't see any major changes compared to the original X99 F8. We have basically the same motherboard, but I know for sure that the BIOS chip is different. As far as I remember, the original motherboard had the BIOS chip located somewhere here, but with this one we have the BIOS chip located over there. Of course, I will be making a review about the X99F8 and the X99TF2021 revision to tell you which BIOS to use, how to read it, how to write it, and what pros and cons we have from this motherboard. Overall, the motherboard looks good and feels good. Maybe it is just me having a bad impressions about Chinese motherboards after testing Machinese, Shuangwei and other cheap alternatives, but this Huanan G somehow looks and feels more premium. You can see that the PCB does not bend, it is also pretty stride, the soldering quality seems to be much better than the Machinist options, so... It will be important to test everything and see if I will be able to spot any major flaws with the motherboard. The next one to check is Huanan G X99TF. I don't expect anything drastically different compared to X99F8, but in here we supposed to have two DDR3 or actually four DDR3 memory slots and four DDR4 memory slots. Same packaging comes here. We have the same configuration of components, some useless Huanangji manual, useless Huanangji warranty card, SATA cable, this uh, CPU cooler mounting bracket, extra screws. The motherboard comes out of the anti-static bag and here is it. We still have the same yellow stickers on top of the memory slots. I actually think it is a bad idea from Huanan G because a few times when I was removing these stickers, some of the glue was left inside the memory slots and I was struggling trying to take it out from there. Other than that, the motherboard also feels very nice, very clean. The soldering done is pretty good. The BIOS chip is located at exactly the same place. So doesn't seem to have much changes uh, compared to the original Huanan GX99TF version. 
but we definitely know that this motherboard is not compatible with the original BIOS. So I will have to test the new version from BIOS I engineer and see how it works. Because I have got multiple reports that the latest revision of X99TF and X99F8 do not support CPU overclocking. With the stock BIOS, of course. With the BIOS I engineer option, it shall be possible. What I can say for sure is that the latest revision does not have this useless RGB header which was present on the original board and people were constantly asking which RGB is compatible with this header and the answer is no RGB devices are compatible with that header because that header was basically useless and I don't know why Chinese made it in the first place. So it is what it is, let's put this board back and take a look at another one. The next one will be this Quanon GX79. It promises USB 3.0, SATA 3 and two VRM fans. I don't see any fans on this VRM radiator, at least on the picture, but let's take the motherboard out and take a look. So here we have everything pretty much the same as with the X99 options. The motherboard itself, the CPU color mounting bracket, the SATA cable, extra screws, useless Huanan J manual and useless Huanan J warranty card. Let's take out the motherboard from the anti-static bag and take a look at it. This motherboard I have bought to do some testing of Intel Xeon E5 2667V2. I think it is gonna be a good match. So, being an X79 motherboard, it of course comes with the DDR3 memory slots instead of DDR4. Here we can see power buttons and reset buttons. Here we see some SATA 2 and SATA 3 ports as well as USB 3.0 connector. The 24 pin power connector is rotated 90 degrees, which is rather stupid because these rails are completely naked and not covered with anything. If you happen to drop a screw over here or touch it with a screwdriver, you will shorten the 12 volt circuit and you will get a small little kaboom with a dead motherboard and a dead CPU, potentially. In this particular case, Huanan.pl owner Rafal has installed the battery for me, usually it is coming as a separate accessory. Anyway, the motherboard also looks and feels very nice. The problem will be to find a good BIOS with overclocking capabilities and memory timings adjustments. Actually, this VRM radiator has two fans inside, so it will also be interesting to test. The good thing is that this is also metal, so it is not disgusting plastic. So the thing on top which covers the radiator is seems to be metal i'm not sure but it seems to be metal so it will not trap the heat but it will help to dissipate the heat the bad thing of course is that this shroud is plastic and not metal that's probably it about this x79 huanan chi motherboard let's move to the next and the last one so the last one is probably the most interesting one it's x99 ch8 this motherboard is supposed to be for mining for example for chia cryptocurrency mining or some other mining let's open up and take a look inside we have all the standard packaging nothing really interesting here taking up the cardboard protection layer and taking out the motherboard itself here we get the same thing. The SATA cable, the IO shield this time is not integrated. So we're gonna have this one. And we have the useless Huanan manual, useless Huanan warranty card, the cooler mounting bracket, and some extra screws. Now, here comes the motherboard itself. It has a rather weird layout. For the VRM configuration, let's take it slowly out so it don't damage anything and take a look. So here it goes. First, what we can see that we have four PCI Express X16 slots and no more PCI Express slots. Technically or potentially it shall be possible to install four graphics cards. Of course, I will have to check what is the actual link width for all of these slots. And here we have 10 SATA 3 ports, which is supposed to be good for Chia mining. And this one, I don't even know what it is. I will have to check it up. Maybe it is SATA Express or something like that. 
Now, what is surprising is that we have one, two, three, four, five, four pin fan headers. This is unusually much for a Chinese X99 or X79 motherboard. Probably they want to make sure that the cooling capability of the motherboard is good enough. What is bad is that we have this tiniest, smallest, pathetic VRM radiator. And most likely the VRM consists of just three phases with the doublers, which turn the VRM into six phases. Well, it is pretty bad, but I will see if I can replace this radiator with something more meaningful and see if the motherboard will be able to do some sort of overclocking. The BIOS chip, I think it is over here, so the chipset radiator is also a bit smaller. Now, what we have on the I.O. side? On the I.O. side, we not only have dual Ethernet port, but we also have a VGA output, so this means the motherboard has some sort of a video card on board, and this one has a speed AST2300, so this is the video output chip which is used on this motherboard. Also comes with an M.2 slot, but it's just one M.2 slot, and I think it is going to be compatible with NVMe drives only, but maybe, maybe here are some jumpers. Let's take a bit closer look and see if these are actually switching NVMe configuration or rather M.2 slot configuration. No, these are restore on AC power loss functions. So it is possible to make that this motherboard is always on. There is not much extra I can say about the motherboard before actually testing it. So let's wrap it up and start the boring benchmarks and the boring test results. So after all, I can tell you everything I figured out about these Chinese X99 and X79 motherboards. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.